Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this smartphone specification table using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So this is how it works. We can see that we have these main categories over here. And uh, if I click on this, the category expands and collapses. And uh, we have different categories and we can open any of these and uh, we can see the details of that category over here. So in this video, we will just design it using HTML and CSS. And in the next video, we will add the functionality. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called specifications table and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's create the necessary file. So let's click on new file. Let's create a new file called index.html. Let's create another file called style.css. And we also need to have a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. So in VS Code, you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. So here, let's link our CSS file. So I'll just type link and press tab. And here in the href, I'll just type style.css. And here on the body, I'll just link the JavaScript file. So I'll just type script colon src and press tab. And here, I'll just type main.js. Right now in the body, let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division. Let's give it a class of specifications container. And in this, uh, we need to have this heading for the device name. So for that, I'll just give it a division with a class of device name. And here, let's add the device name. So I'll just copy this. And uh, let's paste it over here. So this is the device name. Now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So once you have this installed, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. And now we can see that our design is displayed in the browser. Now let's go ahead and continue with our HTML. All right now, the next thing we need to do is we need to create a division for the category. So here we can see for each of the category we have a table of specifications. So let's go ahead and create a division and let's give it a class of category. And the first category that we need to have is general. So let's go ahead and uh, let's type general. And uh, here we'll just type seven for now. Later we will change this to match with the number of details that we have over here. But for now, let's add this uh, hard coded value. And let's create an S3 for this and uh, we we'll just add this text inside the S3. And after this, we need to have this icon on the right side. So let's create a span for that. And let's give it a class. And let's give it a class of icon. And let's search for the icon. So we will search for the icon on heroicons.com. Right here, I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for Chevron. And uh, we need to get this icon right here. Chevron down. So let's copy this icon from here. So let's copy the SVG. And let's go back and uh, let's paste it over here inside the span. Right now, let's go outside the S3 and uh, let's create a table for our specification. So let's tap table. Now in this table, the first thing we need to have is the T body. And in that we need to have a T row, a table row. So here we can see that these two elements are inside a table row. So let's go ahead and create a TR. And in this we need to have this heading on the left side and this uh, details on the right side. So further, let's create a TH for the heading. And for now, we'll just add some values over here. So I'll just type brand. And then we need to have the data. So let's type TD for that. And here we need to add the value. So let's type Apple. But now I'll just go ahead and copy this a couple more times. We we'll just do this for creating the design. Later, we will add the dynamic content. All right, once we are done with the table, we need to create another category. So let's copy this division of category from here. And I'll just paste it one more time. And for the second one, I'll just change the category over here and uh, I'll just change this to design. All right, let's leave it at that. Let's go back to our design. And this is how it looks right now. We have all the elements displayed over here. Now let's go ahead and style this using CSS. 
So we have already linked our CSS file over here. So let's go to the style.css file. And uh, let's start by targeting the container division, which has this class of specifications container. So let's type dot specifications container. And uh, let's set the width of the element to 500 pixels. And let's set the font family to Montserrat and sans serif. And let's also bring it to the center. So I'll just tap margin. And for top and bottom, let's set a margin of 32 pixels and auto for left and right. And now we can see that the elements are in the center. Right now, let's style this device name. So for that, we have this division with the class of device name. So let's target that. I just have specifications container device name. And for this device name, let's set the font size to 20 pixels. And let's set a margin bottom of 24 pixels. Right now, let's style these category headings. So here we can see that inside the category division, we have this S3. So let's type specifications container S3. And let's set the font size to 13 pixels. And uh, let's set text transform to uppercase. And let's also set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. And uh, let's remove the margin. And uh, let's set the display to flex. And uh, now we need to have the text on the left side and the icon on the right side. So first of all, let's set a height for the icon. So okay, let's type specifications container S3. And in that we have this uh, division with a class of icon. So here we can see we have this icon and in that we have the SVG. So for the SVG, let's set the height to 16 pixels. And now we can see that the icon is being displayed. Now we need to bring this icon to the right side. So here for the S3, let's type justify content space between. And now we can see that the icon is on the right side. And let's also bring it to the center vertically. So let's type align items to the center. Right now let's style this icon. So we need to have this red background for the circle. So here we can see inside the icon span, we have the SVG. So let's target the icon. So let's tap specifications container icon. And let's set the background color to red. And let's also set the border to one pixel solid red. Because uh, when we click on this, we can see that we have this border. So we need to add the border over here itself. And uh, then we need to have the color of the text set to white. So the icon. And uh, let's set the border radius to 50%. And now we can see we have this round shape. And let's set the padding to 4 pixels. And now we can see that it is not exactly round. So for that we have to set the display to flex. And now we can see we have the correct shape. Right now when these categories are open, we need to have a different styling. So when it is open, we will add a class called active to the S3. So let's go ahead and add some styles for that. Here let's tap specifications container S3 dot active. And uh, here let's tap icon. And when the S3 is active, we need to set the background color to white. And we need to set the color of the icon to red. And now let's go ahead and uh, for the first one, let's set a class and let's set it to active. So now we can see when we have the active class, these styles should be applied. So now we can see that we have the active class over here. And here we don't have the active class. Right now, let's also set the cursor to pointer for this S3. So here we can see we have this pointer. So here for the S3, let's type cursor pointer. Now, when we transition from this non active state to the active state, we need to have a smooth transition. So here for the icon, let's add a transition. And let's set the value to all 200 milliseconds is. And when we have the active class, we also need to rotate this icon. So here we can see when we open this, the icon rotates 180 degrees. So here, let's type 
specifications container s3.active and icon and here let's type rotate and let's set it to 180 degrees and now we can see we have the rotated icon right now let's style the table so here we can see we have this table after the s3 so let's type specifications container table and for the table let's set the width to 100 percent and uh, let's set a border of one pixel solid and light gray now let's add some margin at the bottom of the table so here let's type margin bottom and let's set the value to 8 pixels right now let's go ahead and style this table heading so we need to text align it to the left side so let's type specifications container table th because here we can see we have this th for the title so here let's type text align and let's set it to left and let's also set the font size so let's set the font size to 14 pixels and uh, let's set a padding of 16 pixels and here also we need to add a border so let's type border and let's set the value to one pixel solid ddd now we can see we also have some border of the table so here in this table let's go ahead and type border collapse and let's set it to collapse and now we can see we don't have the border of the table right now let's style this right side so for that we have this td so let's have specifications container table td and uh, let's set the font size to 16 pixels and uh, let's set a padding of 10 pixels and let's set the width of the td to 60 percent and let's add some padding for this so let's tap padding and let's set the padding to 10 pixels and for this also we need to have the border so let's tap border and let's set the border to one pixel solid ddd right now let's go ahead and add this background color for all the alternate trs which are the table rows so let's go ahead and target the alternate table rows so let's tap specifications container table tr colon nth child and here let's tap even so this will target all the even number of trs so it will target two four six eight and so on so here let's tap background and let's set the background color to eee and now we can see for each of the alternate table rows we have this background color and i think with that we have completed creating the design of our specifications table now in the next video we will add the functionality of this using javascript and we'll also add all these details inside a javascript array of objects so that it's easy for you to change the data so we will do that in the next video all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day